Well, good night or good morning. Uh, what is it? It is the 6th of January, 2021. Happy anniversary, Sports Barn. This is our one year anniversary. Hooray! Ah, oh, forgive me, I'm not in a very good mood. Uh, it looks like the Democrats have uh, achieved control of the government. So I view this as just bad, 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 but I don't want to depress you people because some of you are jerking off in joy right now. So, you know, congratulations to you. So I'll just uh, sit here and wait and see what you're going to do to me. Uh, but winning night, uh, oh, I forgot I'm Eric Arnold. In case you didn't know that, Eric, the biggie Arnold. And this is my sports barn where occasionally I make the mistake of letting my political opinion slip out and we try to pick winners uh, against the spread in college basketball, NFL, college football, baseball. Um, there, there you have it. So we had a winning night last night, stretching our unbeaten streak to two. Um, what do we have here? We had a Postponement, of course, I, I, that's par for the course. I mean, it's, I guess it's just basically, it seems like about 10, now nah, I'm going to say 20% of the games cancel. You know, one kid tests positive. He's not sick, of course, but he tests positive, And then uh, uh, they have to cancel the game. Uh, but, uh, oh, I forgot to write this down. That was a runaway loser, that Central Michigan. They must be a Jekyll and Hyde team. We had them over the weekend, and they were a runaway winner. Now tonight, they were a runaway loser. And I didn't see any of that game. I just didn't, you know. You got to seek out the off-the-wall games, and I'm sure uh, veterans of the sports bar know I like off-the-wall games. I think there's value in them, you know. I think the lines might be a little softer in uh, some of these minor leagues. Alabama showing that their win over Tennessee was not a fluke. Easily handling Florida. Uh, making their bid to say, we're the best team in the SEC. You know, right now, I guess it's between them and LSU as to who's the best team. Uh, they're better than Florida. They're better than Tennessee. Who, who I'm for, probably forgetting somebody. Um, you know, the Mississippi teams are just okay. Kentucky, they're having a bad year. I'm going to say LSU's a team that uh, is still there. And uh, Alabama and LSU, it's like football. Uh, and then Kansas has predicted much the best over TCU, avenging the bad loss over the weekend. They They got out and... Well, they just out-athleted TCU. They were running, they were jumping, they were dunking, they were on the break. Um, yeah, it was. It's nice when you have a easy win like that. Uh, all right, so we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games for you Tuesday. Or Tuesday, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. I guess Wednesday. What they'll be. Uh, demonstrations in Washington that'll be largely pathetic and uh, you know there'll be like half an hour's debate on uh, election fraud and then uh, that'll be it and then we can get on with it you know let's get let's get it going let's see what happens here let's uh, you know let's uh, let's not wait I mean uh, uh, don't leave me in uh, don't leave me in suspense let's get going uh, here we got St. Joe's, St. Bonaventure out of the A-10 early. I think that's like 6 o'clock. Uh, well, it, 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 we're going to go ahead and say St. Joe's here. I'm not crazy about this game because we're on the short end of the coaching matchup here. Uh, but, you know, even the good coaches lose sometimes or fail to cover. That's all I need. And I'm getting 12 points. Uh, uh, you know, the thinking here is St. Bonaventure is a good team. St. Joe's is a terrible team. Uh, St. Bonaventure is just coming off the road. They're home. Um, they're, they're maybe not quite paying attention to who they're playing. They're playing a bad team. 
I mean, I doubt they're focused for this game. Uh, if St. Joe's can bring any kind of effort at all, maybe they backdoor cover this one by, you know, one or two. That's kind of what we're looking for here. <laughs> Not 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 a strong play, one star. I'm not crazy about this game either. What what the hell? Why do we get these games here? Um, Virginia Tech. I mean, they seem to be a strong team. You know, I I, I almost want to just cross this one off because it just feels wrong. It feels wrong. It's 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 you know it's violating the Kaufman principle. Uh, Richard Lee Kaufman. Uh, he uh, espoused the principle that if you have a ranked team against an unranked team and the unranked team is favored, always take the unranked team. Someone knows something. And that's the case here. And we're taking Virginia Tech. This is just wrong. This is just wrong. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, what the hell? It's a COVID year. I'll just let it roll. It's probably right. It's probably right. Go ahead. Put one star on it. Like I said, we had Virginia Tech earlier in the year, and they got put through a table by Penn State, of all people. You know, I'd seen them beat Villanova, who I think is one of the best teams in the country. So I figured, well, Virginia Tech must be good. And, and then they go ahead and just get thrashed by a not very good Penn State team. And, uh, you know, I'm just staring at this going, why do I have these guys again? But we'll leave it. We'll <laughs> <clears throat> we'll leave it like this one I have no rationale why um, I think it's again the uh, minor leagues they're all the same take the points on the road so that's why we're taking Samford at Chattanooga plus a seven I think VCU is pretty good I think George Mason's just bad we're only laying six points here. I think BCU is going to cover that pretty easily. Uh, here's one we got two stars on out of the Southland. The Southland. Isn't that a lyric out of a Leonard Skinner song? Although I can't pull the one out of the air right now. Well, which one? Uh, incarnate Word. Incarnate Word. I guess I should look up how to pronounce that. Incarnate Word. I think they're from Houston. I'm not 100% sure. At any rate, they're uh, getting seven from Northwestern State. Get this. These guys have already played like some crazy number of games, like 12, 13, 14, 15 games. I mean, they're just playing every night. Yeah, I guess uh, they're basically just... I don't know if they have a bus or what, but they're just traveling the country, I guess, going around saying, do you need an opponent? Do you need an opponent? We'll play. We'll play for a fee. We'll play for a fee. So I don't know. Maybe <laughs> they'll they probably end up being a new basketball COVID library or something in Northwestern State next year. And they'll have made enough money. Maybe they'll get a new bus. So well, we're going to take internet word. We think Northwestern States may just tired. Uh, again, New Orleans, another road team. Um, that is wrong. That plus there. That's not right. That is not right. Uh, Central Arkansas is favored, not New Orleans. We are getting seven and a half. We are not giving them seven and a half. That'd be quite the difference. So we're getting seven and a half and we're going to take it. Now a couple real games, huge matchup out of the Big Ten, uh, Michigan versus the surprising Minnesota Gophers, who've been our early favorite. Uh, we've had them a number of times. Well, we've won twice with them, lost once with them. Uh, it, you know, I actually circled Minnesota. I was just used to just circling Minnesota. So I had to erase that. We're taking Michigan here. We're going to lay the seven and a half with Michigan. Uh, the Michigan team just looks different. They look like they have a different gear. And they're undefeated. Um, Minnesota, I think, is a different team between home and away. You know, they're, 
uh, two losses on the road. Neither one they played very well. They just, you know, they just shoot better at home. Uh, so I think Michigan, uh, this could be, you know, an 80, 90 point game. So seven and a half. I, I think Michigan's going to cover that. So we'll take Michigan. Creighton at home, another high scoring team. You know, five and a half. That's all we have to lay. Five and a half. Creighton's a really good team. I mean, you know, they're a top 10 team probably. And uh, I think that's like one of those teams that you've never heard of. I mean, it's possible that Creighton could be the next Villanova. That, that team that just comes out of nowhere and wins the title. And you say, who are these guys? Uh, uh, this, that could be these guys. I say that. So I think, you, in other words, let's say, you know, Villanova was playing Seton Hall. You'd probably be laying seven or eight. Uh, but here it's only five and a half. So I think we're getting value. Uh, Oklahoma, Baylor. Uh, Baylor, the, what, number one, number two team, two, three team in the country. They're undefeated. They really haven't played anybody. You know, I think they beat Illinois. And other than that, they really haven't played anybody. I mean, it's like, well, you beat Illinois. I mean, you know, the, the Big Ten, they're playing in Illinois every night. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a wake-up call for them, playing in conference. Uh, Oklahoma, they've been playing pretty well. Uh, they're getting 11 and a half. I don't know there's that much difference between these two teams. Clearly, Baylor's better, but I think Oklahoma's going to hang around and make these guys work. So we're going to take the 11 and a half. And then lastly, West Coast, you know, this is just one there where we're looking at the points. I don't think Air Force is very good. But again, this is, a, you know, one of these deals where uh, Boise State, they've been on the road. Now they're coming home. I think they're just going to kind of take it easy, have a break, uh, take a game off, coast. Uh, you know, have a nice, easy gentleman's win over the Air Force by 15 points. Thank you for your service. You know, who the hell wants to crush in a, a service academy? You know, that you feel like, I would think you would feel like shit if you did that. I mean, thank you for your service. Bam! As you, you know, dunk on them and posterize them and humiliate them. And then they go get killed in some far off land. Uh, uh, you know, all the while thinking about the time back in uh, uh, the academy days when they got dunked on by some Boise State player. Yeah, I, I, I would think Boise State would want to take it easy on the Air Force. So we're going to take the Air Force there, get the 18 and a half points. All right, so what do we got here? Recap. Uh, our top plays were in the minor leagues. Uh, Sanford, Incarnate Word, New Orleans, and then the Air Force. Uh, and then if you actually want to play some games that are on TV, uh, the TV games were Creighton, Oklahoma, Michigan. Uh, and then uh, I guess you fill in with the rest. St. Joe's, oh, Virginia Tech, that'll be on TV. That's an interesting one because I hate that pick so much. I'm certain it's wrong. I just feel it's wrong. But we'll leave it there. Uh, VCU, let's see. Air Force, yeah. Well, anyway, you can read it there. Hit pause, you can read it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, you know, like I said, I'm just in the 24 hour cycle right now. There's not enough time to come up with anything other than just getting picks out to you, making the video. Uh, I have find time to eat a little bit in there. Um, you know, I wanted to dress the barn up and throw a party for our anniversary, but just no time. So, anyway, I, what have I learned in year one? Eh, you know, we've learned some things. You know, we've learned about frame rates. Um, we've learned about compressing files. Um, I still don't know why my main computer will not talk to YouTube, but my backup computer uploads the file relatively cleanly. I don't know why. Uh, you know, as long as the backup computer keeps working, that's all right. When that thing breaks or stops working, we're fucked. Uh, otherwise, what else have we learned? Um, yeah, we're managing our time a little better now, uh, trying to get 
you know, the picks. I've learned that November is just a forgotten month. We're probably going to have to do something with that this time or next time around because there's just too much going on. You know, something might have to go by the wayside there. It's just too much. Well, let's see. What else? I don't know what else. There is going to be a politics barn video up by tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to, what is it, 1.30 in the morning? I'm going to go exercise. I have to. You know, I have to exercise. i got to get this weight off. You know, i got to get this weight off sooner rather than later. Uh, so, you know, we're going to go. I'm not tired anyway. I mean, my sleep cycle's all screwed up. So, you know, you'll have two videos tomorrow morning. Uh, remember to find us in the politics barn to hear us ruminate about this election. Politics barn, that's what... It's at rumble.com, politics barn, all one word. You must search under channels, and that's the only way you can find it. Search under channels, politics barn, and they'll be, you know, well, we got to get organized. We got to think what we're going to do here before they uh, throw us all in the gulag. Well, it won't be all of us, it'll be me. You people that voted for Biden, I guess, uh, you know. They won't throw you in there, well, not right away. They'll get around to you, but not right away. All right. That's all we have. That's all there is. Wednesday, January 6th. Again, I apologize. Not up tonight. Not up tonight. Not up. Sorry. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Out.